Hi, my people. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my newest psychic tarot reading on uh, Tafari Campbell, who is the or was the personal chef to the Obamas, Michelle Obama and Barack Obama, the former president. Um, and T Tafari was found in a nearby lake, dead, uh, unfortunately passed away uh, by and by in a nearby lake by the couples of Barack Obama and Michelle Obama's Martha's Vineyards Villa. So they, he was found dead in the lake by the Obama's house or villa in Martha's Vineyard. Kind of suspicious, you know, um, apparently he was a swimmer. I do have an article for us to read together if you are not familiar with this story. Um, so, you know, we can both catch up to speed with what is the media says. Of course, we're going to tap in and see what Spirit says. So let's go ahead and get into that and see what we've got going on. If you're new, I'm Lamar Townsend. I'm a psychic, a tarot reader, and an astrologer. I would love if you, I would love if you would like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Um, and if you want, want a reading, you can also visit my website, lamartownsintero.com, or you can text me at 703-791-9162. I do have WhatsApp for international clients as well. This is where you can go to book a reading with me. This is my website, lamartownsintero.com. So once you've reached this page, you know you're on the right page. You can scroll down and read reviews from people who have purchased readings from me. You can also follow me down here on Instagram and Facebook, where I post regularly as well. And if you would like like your own reading go right to the store section that's where you can go to view the rates services products classes candles and different types of things i offer i do offer email readings phone readings video recorded readings birth chart readings candles blockage removal candles protection candles love candles money candles uh custom candles. I also offer mediumship readings, past life readings. I also do offer classes, astrology classes, tarot classes, and things like that as well. So if you'd be interested in any of those things, then definitely check out my website, lamartownsandtarot.com. I would love to read for you. So let's go and get into this article um, on Tafari and his situation. This was uploaded not too long ago. This is by independent.co.uk. Um, it says, Tafari Campbell, latest police say nothing suspicious with Shep's drowning as Obama's daughters leave island. Um, the Obamas referred to Tafari Campbell as a beloved part of our family after his body was recovered from Martha's Vineyard. Uh, Great Pond on Monday. All right. So, Massachusetts police said there has there is that there is no evidence of anything suspicious with the drowning death of Barack Obama's personal chef Tafari Campbell. Campbell, forty five, tragically died in a paddle boarding accident in the water close to the former president's home in Martha's Vineyard on Sunday night. Police in Edgartown, Massachusetts, confirmed on Monday morning that his body had been recovered from the town's Great Pond. Campbell had worked for the Obamas at the White House and then joined the family as their personal chef afterwards. Police say Barack and Michelle Obama were not at home when Campbell died, but were on the island. Their daughters, Sasha and M M Malia, were spotted leaving Martha's Vineyard after the tragedy. Safari was a beloved part of our family, the Obama family said in the statement, our hearts are broken that he's gone. In an update on Tuesday, Massachusetts police said that he was not wearing a personal flotation device and was not leashed to the paddleboard when he fell into the water. He was with a fellow paddleboarder who has not been named, who tried to help but could not reach him in time, police said. So he was with someone at the time. Interesting. I guess this is all details about him. It says here several questions remain unanswered days after Tafari Campbell passed. The 45 year old from Dumfries, Virginia. Oh, wow. He's from my hometown. Well, not my hometown, but my home state. Dumfries is not even that far from me, actually. Dumfries had served the 44th president. So there are unanswered questions, but they're saying. Tafari was not tethered to the paddleboard. So there's some unanswered questions. Um, as to what really happened with him. So that is very interesting, you guys. 
Um, like I said, you know, they're saying no suspicious activity. We know sometimes they either lie because they're doing an investigation or lie because they, you know, just whatever it is, they don't feel like investigating. So let's just see what Spirit has to say about this situation. Let's get into it and let's go ahead. Ooh, ciao. And do a quick singing bowl. Lord have mercy. Sorry about that. Thank you, Spirit, for opening up a channel so that I can connect with the energy of Takar, Tafari Campbell. And thank you for bringing clarity and insight to, as to what happened to Tafari Campbell. Thank you for protecting my energy, my thoughts, my mind, and my emotions. Thank you for protecting those watching this video. Thank you for protecting my space. In the name of the Mother, the Daughter, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen, amen, amen. All right, got the energy nice and cleansed. Let me go ahead and tap in. Spirit, give me clarity and insight as to what really happened to Tafari Campbell. The first thing I hear when I tap in is suspicious, suspicious, and suspicious activity. I'm wondering, you know, it is Martha's Vineyard, you know, and I'm wondering if there were, there maybe were drinks involved, if he had some maybe alcohol or substance in his system, or maybe if there was intoxication happening in some way, shape or form, because there was a sense of a laxness. There was a sense of letting one's guard, letting one's guard down. Oh, nothing's going to happen. Nothing, nothing's happened yet. So why would it not happen now? You know, you know, I'm not going to put on my seatbelt. I'm not going to, you know, strap myself in. Like, you know, there's something with that where it's just a normal day. It's just a regular day. But I'm also wondering at what time it was that they went out to paddleboard. Cause there's something about, I don't know why I see something at night. So I'm wondering if they went at night or did they clarify that in the article? Let me go back and just quickly skim through it. On Sunday night, you guys, it says it right here. There's something it happened at night. There's suspiciousness around that. Campbell died in a paddleboarding accident in the water close to the former president's home in Martha's Vineyard on Sunday night. That's the, that's the suspiciousness right there. The fact that this happened at night where it's hard to see. Um, I get suspicious, suspiciousness. I don't know why I feel like I, the person he was with, I'm wondering if he was, like, I see a white man or something like that. Or a Caucasian-looking man, a light-skinned man, something along those lines. I don't know why I feel like this person plays more than one role. So I'm wondering if... The person that he was paddleboarding with, because the article did say that he was with someone at the time that couldn't get to him, you know, in time enough. I'm wondering if that person was also a chef or if they were someone else that wore many different hats in the company or, you know, working for the Obamas in some way, shape, or form. Because I feel like whoever this person was that was paddleboarding with him with Tafari, they had more like access to intel they had more of like a, of a closer connection although Tafari being their personal chef also had a personal connection to them as well i 
I don't know why it's possible Tafari may have been into some shady or some, maybe not shady is the best word, but he may have been in, involved in some suspicious activities. Um, I feel like whatever this was, it may not have looked good for the Obamas. May not have looked good for the Obamas. I hear set up. Set up. I hear the word set up. And I don't know why I see Tafari sitting down with President Obama and having a conversation. And it's almost like President, you know how you have a, like your boss pulls you into the office and like the boss has a stern talk with you. That's kind of what it feels like is happening What from what I'm seeing between Tafari and Obama. It's like Obama's having a stern talk with him almost. It's almost like the energy I'm picking up is either there's an issue on the job with his performance or there's an issue outside of the job. And it's almost like Obama is kind of giving him guidance and saying, like, you're, listen, you're going down the wrong path, man. You're going down the wrong path, dude. Like, there's something where I'm going to say, allegedly, Tafari may have been set up, allegedly. I don't know if it was by the Obamas, though. I almost feel like Barack Obama w warned him of some sort, warned Tafari of something or of some sort. Gave him a warning. Like, you know, you're treading you're treading on thin ice there, or you know, you're you're hanging around the wrong crowd, the wrong people. Like there's something about that. <sighs> to me, it feels like I'm wondering if Tafari and this person he was with went in a in a certain part of the water or the lake or a certain area where maybe he's he's not used to, wasn't used to, or they weren't used to. But there's something about luring someone to the edge. Oh, it'll be fine, you know, you know, don't worry about it, you know, but it's like How do I give an example of this? It's almost like imagine a whirlpool, you know, a tsunami or something like that, you know, or a tornado in the water. And you, you know, you and, and your friend are swimming by, but your friend is like, oh, you'll be fine. You know, just go a little bit closer to the left, to the right. You know, uh, you'll be fine. You know, the whirlpool, the tsunami, the tornado won't get you. You know, don't worry about it. You know, you're just being a wimp. And you're like, okay, if you say so. And then you just move an inch over and suddenly you're pulled into the world, the whirlpool, the whirlwind, the tsunami, the tornado, and you're in the thick of it. And all your friend is doing is looking at you like, like you actually did it, you know, kind of thing. Like you actually, you know, followed my, my, what I said, you actually did it. And it's almost like kind of a thrill of like, Am I the cause of your death or am I the cause of this? But there's also like an energy of. I'm watching someone pass away right in front of me, potentially, and I like, you know, I'm I'm struck. I'm I don't know what to do. Like, there's something about that. Um, I feel like whoever he was with maybe froze in fear or froze like kind of in a way where I explained just earlier where it's like, you know, almost like in fascination maybe. Um, like I almost feel like he was sucked into a tide or something like that or... I feel like he was taken by surprise. Or there could have even been something where, you know, how, like, you know, guys can be, they can, like, play fight. 
It's like you're play fighting, but you're playing too rough, and then you push someone, and then suddenly it's like they get pulled into a current, or it's like, you know, they they get pushed into the water. Like, there's something like that where it's like, did I do that? Like, did I cause this kind of thing? And it's like, you know, it's so many thoughts going through this person's head They don't when they should be helping him, right? I feel like whoever was with him panicked as well. And almost like instead of helping him, they went to go get help. There were certain things about him where he, you know, Tafari could be like, it's almost like when the mice are away, the cats, when the cats are away, the mice will play. So there's something about when the Obamas are not there, it's like, you know, it's, it's almost like a party, like, you know, kind of thing, you know, kick up your feet, you know, like, you know, take off your shoes, you know, kind of thing, like that kind of thing. And then clean up when... You know, uh, you know, uh, Michelle and Barack get back kind of thing. But it's almost like this is what happens, you know, when the parents, you know, the disciplinarians or the cats are away, are, are away in this scenario because they keep order and structure. Without M Michelle and Barack there, there's a lack of order and structure at this vineyard. And I feel like this guy's death ex is exposing that. And it's not a good look on Michelle and Obama. So I want to say Michelle and Obama really need to be mindful of who they have around them. Are they, is this person trying to sabotage them in some way, shape, or form? Because this is definitely suspicious. There's suspicious circumstances surrounding this guy's death, period. And even though I don't think the Obamas maybe necessarily had anything to do with it directly, not even Malia or um, Sasha, it's just not a good look. All right, let's go ahead now and see what my tarot cards have to say, child. Okay, we are black, child. We are black. We are black, honey. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and get into this reading on Safari. Okay. Thank you for cleansing and clearing the energy of this deck when you pass reading. Amen, amen, amen. And remember, if you wanted to book a reading with me, I'm available. Do not hesitate to reach out, lamartownsintero.com, or text me right now at 703-791-9162. I do offer same-day readings as well. Was there foul play in Tafari's, Tafari Campbell's passing? Was there foul play in Tafari Campbell's death? Allegedly. Was there any sort of foul play in Tafari Campbell's death? Seven of Cups right off the bat, secrecy. But this shows up connected to impressions, physical appearance, how one sees himself, how other people see them. Seven of Cups is a card of secrecy, cover-ups, hiding something, can be a card of substances, drinks, escapism. I think he may have been involved in some things. Maybe he had some vices. Um, You know, maybe... You know, people can be really good at their job, but have a different lot, you know, be, be totally different from their job behind the scenes. Two of Swords connected to money and finances and personal belongings, personal possessions. Two of Swords is a card of needing to trust one's instincts. Seven of Swords connected to thoughts, communication in the mind where their mental health issues. There definitely was conflict in, in, in the mind, with his mind, with his thoughts. Queen of Pentacles shows up connected to emo, um, emotions, family, and the home. This could be a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, or Cancer female. Six of Wands. 
a card of overcoming obstacles, forward movement, eight of wands, a lot of activity, um, a lot of working, which is uh, connected to work, job, daily routine, and health. Um, so eight of wands is a lot of moving parts as well. Knight of Wands connected to one on one relationships. This would be an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, or Libra person. The Ace of Cups connected to death, evolution, change, and growth. It's interesting he passed away in water, and the Ace of Cups shows up connected to death here in regards to this question. Was there foul play? Ace of Cups will be an emotional offer. Ace of Cups could be drinking substances, something like that. Huh. Six of Swords. Look at him. Look at how they're kind of paddling the boat, rowing the boat. But there's swords in the boat. Five of Swords connected to the past. Issues with the past. Issues connected to the past. Ace of Wands. And the Two of Wands as the last card. Was there foul play? I will say the Knight of Wands is facing the Ace of Cups. What was Tafari Campbell's Zodiac sign? Let's see. Okay, so his Zodiac sign is not known yet. I don't know, you guys. I'm going to say legally maybe there's no foul play because once again, it's one of those things where we were playing and I accidentally, you know, accidentally, you know, we were getting too rough or it's like we, you know, um, we were rowing and, you know, he got too close to the thing, you know, and then, you know, it was too far for me. So it's like l legally, you know, the person didn't do it. Which technically makes it not no foul play, but it's like they didn't do anything to help him. And that's where the question lies. Did, did you do it on purpose or was this? Was this um, not intentional? I guess that's my next question. Did the person that was with Tafari Campbell when he got lost in the lake or when he fell off his paddleboard, did the person that was with him intentionally not help him or was it unintentional? What was going on with that spirit? Give us some clarity on why the person with Tafari Campbell didn't help Tafari to save his life actively while he was there or while they were there. The hanged man, not knowing what to do, being stuck, hands tied behind one's back, something being out of someone's control. So, like I said, once again, maybe this person. It's possible this person may be like froze. Or it's like maybe Tafari got pulled into a current and at that point, you know, there's nothing this person could do. The star card, though, something was planned, though, with this person. The star card is things aligning perfectly. The star card shows up connected to thoughts, communication, and the mind. So this may may have to some degree been planned, though. This may have been planned. Something about this may have been planned by the person he was with, Tafari. Eight of Pentacles connected to home, family, and emotions. I'm wondering if the person Tafari was with was this person just someone locally that lived near Martha's Vineyard or in Martha's Vineyard too? Or was this also someone that worked for the Obamas? 
Because if it was someone that was locally that lived around Martha's Vineyard but didn't live near the Obamas, there, there's suspiciousness there. But they also could be, uh, you know, uh, uh, connected to powerful people too. The magician card connected to one on one relationships, manipulation. You guys, there's something intentional about whoever, allegedly, I'll say, there, there's some. some intentional energy manipulative energy around safari's death and who he was with that day it's like you know about that part in those movies where it's like you know someone's like falling off the edge of the ledge and it's like the person you know still um you know on land you know like you know they can extend their hand to help pull the person on the ledge up and pull them back on land. Or it's like, you know, they can pull their hand back. And it's almost like, you know, this person with Tafari, it's like, you know, they held their hand out but pulled it back kind of thing. There's something with that. Ace of, Eight of Swords, they, they could start to feel guilty for this. In, in hindsight, as time goes on, they could start to feel guilty for what happened. Or something could come back around onto them. Concerning this guy's death. You know, I feel like this death may have also not been about Safari, but it may have been about the Obamas. And that's where the Obama connection comes in here. Like, it almost may have been a message to the Obamas. There was some intentional energy... Towards whoever was with Tafari that night when he passed and fell off that paddleboard, there's an there's an, an energy of intentionally not helping him for some reason. I feel like there's a connection to you know like giving a message to the Obamas in some way, shape, or form, and I think that's why I was tapping in and saying they need to you know watch who they're around. Or maybe at this point, it might be safe to just move out of Martha's Vineyard, to be honest, from the sounds of it. If we hear any of anyone else turning up, you know, passed away around them, around that area, it's time to, you know, dip out of Martha's Vineyard. But if I were them, I, you know, I, I would go e either way, to be honest with you. Let's pull the final card for this situation. Spirit, give me some clarity insight on who it was that may have been the cause of, to, well, not the cause, but who it was that maybe could have helped Tafari but didn't. Who Give us clarity and insight on who this person is. What type of person was the person that could have helped Tafari but didn't when he passed? Who is this person? Give us insight and clarity on who this person is. Maybe that'll give us some insight on why. Why they did what they did. Give us some clarity and insight on who this person is and why. Why they would do what they did in the first place. Alright, we're just going to move these over. Alright, let's see. A stargazer. It says, set your sights higher. Stargazer, set your sights higher. So once again, remember I was saying I saw a white male? And set your sights higher, once again, to me means a message to the Obamas. In a way, the, the, the Obamas are stars. Right. But the person that did this may also be loop D. There may be something about this person that's not all the way there. That was with T Tafari that day. All right. 
All right, you guys. Um, we'll definitely, you know, keep our eyes and ears open about the situation. Thank you all for listening and watching. Remember, if you want your own personal reading from me, I'm available on my website, lamartownsandtarot.com. Keep in touch. Love and like. God bless. I'll talk to you all in your own personal reading, or I'll see you in the next video. Either way, I will see you soon.